Hello. Where from? From Frankfurt. Frankfurt, Germany. Yes. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Where are you guys from? Hey, we're from London. London. How are you doing? Where are you from? Swiss. I'm Swiss by origin, but I live here. Thanks for coming in today. I'm Robin, Hello. South Beach Classics. So you're from uh, Germany. Germany, wow. Man, we got so many people coming in here. I probably got 30, 40 people here now. This place is a tourist destination. People from all over the world come here just to see the cars, to see Robin, to see me. I got to be able to handle this crowd. I mean, there's a lot of people. And I also got to be able to weed out which ones are here to buy a car and which ones are here to buy a shirt. You know, between what we're doing here and how many cars we have, we're a tourist spot. I got a phone in my car and I'm on the run. I know what it takes to be number one. And I'll be riding high when the day is done. I'm just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for 40 years. I work here with my beautiful wife, Robin, and we have a great team. Some people call it work, but for us, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Yeah. Hey, Rob. Your hair is crazy out there. I've been seeing you for it's full hours. Full of people. It's full of people. It's incredible. I told you, this you building location with all the traffic is insane. When I pushed for this location, honestly, when Ted and I pulled up to the building, I saw all the cars that went by, and I knew it was going to draw on traffic. I mean, there were cars. I said, hold tight, honey. He's like, no, we're not buying it. I said, Ted, look, look at the traffic. One, two, three, four. I, I said, there's 100 cars in five seconds. And I actually used a quote to try to get him there, and the quote was, build it, they will come, because he relates to baseball. All these tourists, they're asking for T-shirts, they're asking for mugs, license plates, something. That's why I'm coming up with some <clears throat> new ideas for you to help me with. I know we're doing a lot, but look, check this out. Let me show what I was working on. Here, right here. I was thinking about getting, creating a food truck. Ted's really, really good at buying, selling, and trading. But I really seriously am focusing on moving this company to next century. And the milk truck, I think we should convert it to like an ice cream truck. Wrap it, it's just sitting there for two years, so, my so God. So we're gonna have more than one project again? Always, nice. well, keep, okay. keep it interesting. Is Ted part of this or no? Is he part of it? Of course, he has to enjoy it. Another project's gonna get started now. Uh, we're going to start doing the bus for uh, a diner. It'll be interesting. It'll be fun. Something new. Ted does have a tough time with change. He, he does, but we're here. It's now, and it's now or never. We're here at a storage yard, and I brought Teddy with me, my son, because he's a good negotiator. He's learning the business. We're looking at a uh, fire truck or what used to be a fire truck. I got this on eBay about nine years ago. 1956 Seagrave fire truck. When I bought it, it was in great condition. It was running, the lights worked, everything worked on it. Today, you see what it looks like. I'd like to get a couple thousand out of it. I think I'm gonna hit him at 500. He told me he paid 9,000 in storage for it. He paid like seven or 8,000 for the fire truck. You think 500, he's gonna sell it? Well, you know what you do when you make the offer? Make it with green in your hand. Give him the greenery. To brighten up the scenery. Yeah. Got you. You're good, Vernon. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey, Jack. Jack. Ted Vernon, this is my son, Teddy. Hey, Teddy, He's how you doing? He's 10 years old, and this is his deal. I'm letting him do it. You make your deal with him. Is that fair? All right, Teddy. It's not going to be easy. Let's go at it. I think he brought uh, Teddy along so Robin don't uh, give him hell. I don't know about this. I'll have to see what happens. This but is it, huh? This is it. That is pretty rough. Yeah, but it's solid steel. Look at this. It's a lot of rusty steel. Yeah, here. but it could be fixed. My mom's great at fixing this stuff, but <laughs> this is a real project right here. I think she'll, she'll like it. This is pretty hideous. Do you, you want to buy it? Uh, he didn't give me much of a response, but I think I hit the jackpot. I'm dealing with a 10-year-old. I might get my money. I feel very bad for Jack, as he has no clue. This kid knows cars. I, I don't know if he'll get it done, but I like his negotiating tactics. I'm gonna get it done. Something I got going for me is the Seagrave is a very well-known fire truck. The city of New York, all their fire engines are Seagraves. So it's a good truck. This truck is rougher than three nights in jail. I have 500 bucks in my pocket. I want two, two grand. Trust me, right here, 500 bucks. 2,000. I'll get out of your hair, just make the deal. You guys are beating me up. 
right here? Oh, that's all I can say. Does anyone want the truck? Not at the moment. You want to keep paying rent? No. Teddy's got him now. All right, you made a deal. Not happy, but I'll take it. I underestimated this kid. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I was bluffing. I thought he would go for it, you know, but uh, I tried. He called my bluff and I lost, but I'm glad I just don't have to pay rent anymore. I'm done, that's it. I told you I was right. I was gonna buy this thing, I robbed it. I didn't think you'd take $500. I, I, I'm amazed, but you did great. I'm proud of you. Is it safe to get in this thing? Sure. <laughs> if a snake doesn't bite your butt, go ahead. Teddy's grown up on the lot. He's seen hundreds of deals. Pretty good. It is cool, huh? It has good interior. Yeah, you know what? It'll, it'll make a truck. We'll get it running next week if we can. I okay. like it. Let's get out of here. I am really proud of him. A chip off the old block with better hair. It's cool. You did a really good job, man. We're done. This location um, has opportunity to create many new projects, everything from a trolley to a food truck. It certainly doesn't hurt that Marcus has a culinary education, because I'm going to need Marcus's help to pull this thing off. I've uh, done some catering and things like that, so when Robin came up with the idea of uh, having this great hot bus here and uh, making something out of it, you know, she came to me and she set up some names for a menu and different little, you know, ideas. Pay no mind to this menu. I know you're a creative one. You're into cooking, which is cool for it. I think collaborate with me, but I really have in mind like something like the colossal, like a, just a massive cheeseburger or something that we don't have here in Miami. Guys, what the hell is this? Oh, I should have hit it. No, you're not supposed to see it. What is it? This is your Father's Day present. South Beach Diner? My wife has an idea now about this diner. Who, who, who's gonna cook, Marcus? Marcus runs this place with Robin. I don't need him cooking soup. I need him out here working. We don't need to go and invest in a restaurant right now. Ted, there's nothing to eat around here. We are actually going to name one hamburger after you, the hot and spicy, <laughs> with jalap the jalapenos can be mustache-shaped. Perfect. I don't care if Robin sets up a bus diner, but the first thing I need is a gift shop where people can get stuff when they come here. It's more important than a hamburger. Come on, I'm going. OK, five minutes. Cat's out of the bag, pretty much. It's not going to be little by little anymore. He thinks it's going to be slow, but it's going to be pretty fast. It's all very cute, the whole concept, from the Cadillac burger to the Ted burger and the hot rod dog. I mean, hot, what are you going to put on a hot rod dog? I'm the idea girl. You're the food guy. Come on. I need your help. All right, I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll, I'll look at the menu that you have there, and I'll see what I can do, and I'll add some more stuff to it. All right, good. I'll look all forward right. to it. Thank all you. Right, go, go sell some cars. Yeah. There's a problem. Somebody hit. They went through the gate and they hit what? One, two, three, four, five cars. Apparently, the guy was coming down I 95 straight down. I don't know how fast he was going, but he cut down the middle. He ended up hitting a shrub here, which lifted him up. All you see in the video is like a big pile of smoke. It looks like a big bomb went off. Oh, it's bad. It's really bad. The city came up with the gate up already, but it's bad. Either way, it's bad. All right, I'll see you when you get here. So you're going to move this one? Yeah, we'll just slide this one over towards the right car. OK. Then I can pull the Z, then I can easily pull the truck. All right, and then later on, we'll take care of the other ones. Okay. All right. Oh, we're cleaning up some of the mess. We're going to start sweeping up the floors and stuff so we don't pop any more tires. We're going to get some of these cars over there to the mechanic area, see what we can do with them. But every time you turn around, it's more and more crap on the floor, you know, and we're seeing more and more damage as we go along. But we're getting there. We'll see what happens today. I got a regular showing up today. I've traded with him quite a few times. He don't like regular cars. He likes unusual cars. Today, I'm looking to get something ridiculous, something that's maybe chopped up, 
you know, a hot rod, no hood, engine out in the open, something that you don't see on a daily basis. My cars all sell. I don't want just pristine, perfect cars. I want ugly cars too, because some people like ugly cars. I'm gonna show Austin the ugliest cars I have, the weirdest cars I have, because a regular car he won't even look at. Ted's advice doesn't really matter on this deal. It depends on what my pup thinks. What she says goes. If she likes the car, I'm getting it. Hey, Austin, how you doing, hey, brother? Hey, Ted, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Hello, pup. That's Lily. Is that Lily? Oh, girl. I heard you want to see me. You know your way around. You don't need me. I do. I'm trying to find something a little crazier than the usual. Well, you came to the right place. I got this. <laughs> Come on, Lily. How about oh. this bad boy? I just bought it. It's Model A coupe. I like this. It's crazy, but it's not insane. I want something insane, Ted. 48 International. Not bad. I do like it a lot, but I just had a truck. I've, I'm saving one. I got one in my brain for you. You like my Merc. Yeah, I like the Merc. Suicide doors, too. Suicide doors, OK. You want insane? Yeah. How do you like my taxi? Few... Sitting up on like 26s or something? 26 is not my style. I'm a little disappointed. It's not going well. He showed me a lot of crazy cars, but nothing insane yet. I like the hot rods he showed me. I like the Cadillac fins. If he has something that wraps that all up together, we might have a deal. I've showed him fins, fire, flames, rat rods, everything, but I haven't showed him the one I think he's gonna buy. If Austin doesn't go for this car, I'm out. I'm going back to my office and I'm done. I'm bringing you to the right car now. I'm bringing you to insanity. Okay. Look. Damn. <laughs> Are those 61 Cadillac fins? Exactly. I'm liking that. You know, the 61's like this, the 62 is only about that big. So how much is this thing? 18 and a half will make you laugh. Now, now, you got to understand, you can't build this for that. You know what goes into making a car. I believe it. And it's one of one. What do you think, Lily? You like it? Looks like Lily likes it. Lily, this has to do with you. 18.5 is my price. You bought six or seven from me before. 17.5 and you own it. 17.5? That's it. Deal. Done. Thanks, Ted. Congratulations, Lily. You just helped me get a sale done. Normally, I don't like working with two people. <laughs> I think me and Lily are going to enjoy taking this to South Beach. I didn't think Ted would be able to do it, but once again, he made it happen. That was a clown car, and I moved it. It's fun to be right. This car has everything I was looking for. Money wasn't really an issue. It was more of what Lily liked. The dog jumping in closed the deal. Oh, Lily helped me, not him. He'll either sell it himself, make money, or bring it back to trade it with me. Either one's good. Got the cars back here, so now I'm gonna get the mechanic over here to take a look at the cars and you know, let's figure out what's wrong with them, if they're even fixable, or if we can take anything out of them or what. Howard, what are we gonna do with this thing? Oh man, give me like 15, 20 minutes and I have it running. You know, Howard and I looked at the cars in reference to damages and, and the amount of money it's gonna cost to fix these cars. If you look at it, the engine shifted a little bit, so the mounts is probably damaged. I think we should take this apart, salvage the rest, take the motor out, and keep all the good parts. They're destroyed. I, I think they're way too far to, to spend that much money on any of them. You know, if anything, salvage them for some parts and see what we can get out of them. Let me talk to Ted. I'll just let him know that Robert wants to rebuild it. He'll cut it up quick. <laughs> all right. About two weeks ago, I got in contact with one salvage company. They agreed they were going to come pick it up. It's been two weeks. I'm trying to figure out what's going on and why they're taking so long. Hey, what's up, bro? It's Marcus here from Southeast Classics. You told me last week you were going to stop by and finish picking up the cars. Now, I've been chasing another salvage company for a while now. I finally found one that might be able to take them, no problems. The issue that you have with when you have accidents like this, since we are a dealer, they want to charge you for removing them from the property. Some people want to pay you for them, but then they don't want to pay you much of anything, so sometimes it's better just to get it out of here right away. When people want to pay you for them, they take a little bit longer, and, and they want to offer you nothing, and you're pretty much storing them till they're ready for them. Ted and Robin want them out. We got too much stuff going on. If you're not here today, I'll get somebody else. It's five cars. It's not one car. It's not two cars. It's five cars. Okay. All right. Well, I'll have someone else. All right. Thank you. See you later. Bye. You know, Robin and Ted have a lot of things going on. You know, this is one thing I can handle. So I'm stepping up, taking care of this specific thing for them. It's one less pressure off of them. And I'll get a handle one way or another.
Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm Ted Vernon. Hey, I'm Jasper Wallace. Hi, Jasper. This gentleman called me that has a truck down here, and he uh, mentioned he was brought it down to sell to somebody, but the guy was stroking him around, didn't uh, didn't do the deal. I made a deal with a dude over the phone, and me not knowing that I supposed to got half for the money before I came, and I came anyway. And when I got there, the dude kind of bagged out on me. I figured the gentleman he brought the car to was another dealer. I don't know who it even is, but he probably figured once he had him here, he could beat him up real good. He told me that he was going to give me 13000 But when I got there, he was trying to give me like 9000 and wasn't going to pay for my travel. And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to lose. When you left? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, OK. Did you get a deposit before you left the house? No, sir. You just drove down on good faith? Yeah. That ain't smart, bro. You got to deal with people that do what they say, like me. This gentleman, Jasper, got screwed. I'm trying to unscrew him. This truck needs a wiring harness. It needs the transmission linkage hooked up. It's not really a tremendous amount of work, but the truck is quality from top to bottom. You know, if the deal happens, I'll fix it. I'll get it done. The truck is too nice not to do. How much you got in the truck? Almost 40. Almost 40 grand. And you don't want to finish it. You're done. I'm done. When he said he had 40 grand in the truck, that's why I don't restore. I tell you, the rule of thumb is restore, you lose. So what can I do for you? I was looking to try to get like a 13.5 for the truck. I can't pay 13 for the truck needing work. What I could do is trade you. You want to walk around a little bit and let me know what you like? Yes, sir. Jasper hit me at 13 grand. I think it's worth that all day long, but not to me. I have to resell it for somewhere 13 or 15. What I can do is swap him a car. That'll work for him. I actually went to the back of Ted's shop and seen so many cars, it kind of blew my mind. I haven't seen that many old school collector cars together at one time. So he have a lot of cars. You know, he got a lot of like Chevelles. He have a lot of T model, A model. The one that caught my eye was the Lincoln with the suicide though, because it ain't got no body work need to be done to it. The interior perfect, then it's a one owner. He got excited about the 69 Lincoln town car, four door. Everybody likes the suicide doors. Got the big 460 in it. Ooh. Factory AC. You probably have 30 guys trying to buy it from you. No, I want 13. If you don't give it to me, I'm going to try to trade. Your car has a better upside to it done, but it needs a lot of work for me to make it done. This car you can just sell. What I'm willing to do is throw keys with you, even swap, have a good day, we're done. I'm not going to charge you a dime. Give me the hat with it. Nope. Can I get the hat with it? Nope. I just got this hat from Australia from a fan of mine. I can't give it up. It was a gift. Can't give okay. it up. But okay. I'll shake your hand and we're done. OK, we got a deal. Good. I think Ted did me a good deal. I think he's a nice man for doing that. I didn't get what I wanted, but I got something in place of what I wanted. He'll wind up getting 12, 14 grand out of the Lincoln. That's what he's going to wind up getting, which is what he wanted for the truck as it was. So it's a fair deal. Wow, folding shirts. Helping me out, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, and these came in? Yeah, there's like 40 boxes back there. I love these. So cool. Wait, 40 boxes? Yeah. I was just checking on orders. I was calling, I was about to call the companies and wonder where everything was. No, they got here yesterday evening. 40 boxes, where are they all at? The back storage room. We finally got the gift shop pretty much ready to go. Robin ordered a bunch of stuff, started coming in yesterday. Uh, we got a lot of t-shirts set up already. Well, you know, this is going to put an end to Ted complaining about how I don't have t-shirts yet. <laughs> oh, you got t-shirts, tags, and everything else now. Little does he know, this is just a start. Ted's been complaining too much about doing the gift shop and t-shirts and, and things to sell, and I agree with him 100%, but what he doesn't understand is there's so many things in motion, and it's, it's all in the works and almost done. Marcus hung your shirts out here. You know, the shirts that you wanted. I went to South Beach Classics, and all I got was a classic car. It works, right? I mean, they're basic. Very. Come on, they're fantastic. Look Sold. at this. 
I'm done. I like that one. You say it all the time, it's cute. With a mustache and a hat, I'm done? You love your mustache. You love your hat. <laughs> this is just horrible stuff. Take them to the flea market and get rid of them, bro. These are horrible. <gasps> Come on. Here it is. We have real shirts. Nah, now you've done something. You. This is just a joke. Betsy made me do it. Betsy thought it'd be funny to, you know, give them cheesy shirts. Oh, so these are a goof. Yeah. Thank God. Robert and Marcus set up the gift shop. It's all I wanted it to be. And it looks fantastic. They did a great job. I'm pretty sure I have a name for the food truck, but I can't come up with a name for the gift shop. I got a name for this place. We should call it the Pit Stop. I like that. Ted was worried we didn't have a lot of t-shirts. No, now we got more t-shirts than I can count. Marcus has really stepped up his game. He's helped a lot. He's gotten the salvage cars together. He's getting this together. He's really there for Robin. He's there for me. When the guy rolled through my fence and smashed five cars, he got it all cleaned up. He got it all taken care of. He moved everything. Did a hell of a job. Thank God those busted cars are gone. Good general manager. Bad taste in shirts. Ted and Robin buy a building next to I-95. Nobody knows how to drive on 95. Ridiculous. Now Ted's gonna get upset because I'm wearing the shirt that he doesn't like. I hope he drives by I-95 and sees me wearing this shirt. Ted hates this shirt. I've never seen Ted pick up a broom. Never seen Ted pick up a hammer. Well, I haven't seen Ted pick up much of anything. This is what the general manager ends up doing at the end of the day.